Hello chess friends and welcome to Yazard of Chess channel and welcome to an incredible game that I found on the official computer chess rating list website, the official CCRL. We have here Ruby Chess versus Stockfish in an amazing, incredible, sharp tactical battle in the King's Indian defense. And I think with this game that I'll show you, uh, the, the Stockfish 15 engine broke the King's Indian, I think, a little bit back to life again because it has been a tough time for this defense. Uh, no one dares to play anymore the King's Indian in top grand master level. I, at least I'm not I've not seen any more winning games uh, by black in top grandmaster level so it's uh, really a tough tough opening to handle because you have to be really a tactical beast you have to really find uh, tactical opportunities for both sides so in my opinion still a sharp opening but of course uh, the stockfish engine can play whatever stockfish wants to play and in this game you witness a beautiful and immortal queen sacrifice uh, here by the fish with the black pieces so pay good attention in my opinion really one of the best games so far uh, that I've seen in my life so let's see now the game the ruby chess engine with the white pieces open with the move d4 stockfish response was knight to f6 c4 g6 knight to c3 bishop to g7 and we have we're having now here the kings in the defense now d6 of course knight to f3 uh, normal variation we have now kingside casting and now ruby chess plays this very popular line now these days the move h3 preventing also black to play the move bishop to g4 in some lines fabiano caruana uh, used this bishop to g4 method in one of his games, one also uh, with the black pieces in the king's indian. This move h3 is a prophylactic idea, not allow of course to get pinned, but also it is a preparation to make further progress maybe in the later stage of the game with the move g4 because many times uh, white is trying to attack the fianchetto with ideas bishop to e3, queen to d2, maybe even trade off the bishops on h6. So uh, many times when you play g6 and bishop to g7, the fianchetto, white is simply trying to attack it with some flank attacks on the king side. So in the game, stockfish breaks and enters immediately with move e5. This is no normal stuff d5 of course white has now a space advantage in the center of the board and we have now this directed attack uh, we when the block, uh, pawn structure is blocked out in some of these lines white should actually coordinate to, uh, the attack towards the queen side and black should of course coordinate the attack uh, towards the king side but this game will break a little bit these principles because uh, with the move h3 g, uh, g4 white is obviously going to attack the king side so it breaks really the this uh, pawn structure that we have here the blocked out pawn structure it breaks really the direction of the attack already uh so that's why it's a tough game for both sides because you'll see now in the next couple of moves uh, ruby chess will castle towards the queen side white uh, black is already cast towards the king side so it will be an opposite side attacking but with really a strange uh, strange pawn structure now in the center of the board so in the game knight to a6 by the fish preparing in some lines if possible even knight to d7 uh, knight to uh, knight from d to c5 and maybe launch a flank attack also with the move f5 so that's why bishop to g5 played by ruby chest not allowing this uh, knight to be maneuvered here to uh, c5 in the game h6 by stockfish bishop to e3 and now knight to c5 here immediately played by stockfish attacking also the weak pawn on e4 and the problem is i think now bishop to c5 here would be simply too rushed because after d takes c5 you cannot actually take out here the pawn on e5 because black would do the same you can maybe also pick up the knight now but also your knight is hanging here on e5 and if you don't react after bishop to c5 d takes e5 if you don't want to uh take out now the pawn on e5 immediately then i think black is a beautiful maneuver will jump to the uh, with the knight on e8 and then of course here on a beautiful square on d6 where uh the knight on d6 will control the c4 e4 square and the bishop uh is then protecting the e5 pawn then again maybe f5 would be a possibility so taking here the knight on c5 wouldn't be i think a good option uh for white so that's why ruby chess protected the pawn on e4 we have now the move a5 because in some lines of course also b4 could happen this move a5 is a prophylactic idea here by uh, stockfish not allowing to be pushed away uh by by this pawn move on b4 so if you again want to take out the knight then it's a different story but the knight is so far staying on this beautiful beautiful square so bishop to e2 bishop to d7 queen to c2 b6 preparing also in some lines the move a4 if white castles now the, uh, here on the queen side in the game a3 played by ruby chess and now 
Queen to e7 played by Stockfish, finishing the development, finishing this third stage of uh, the opening. Black has developed all of the minor pieces, has secured the king by castling, and of course the third stage is uh, maneuvering the queen from the starting rank, connecting the rook. So uh, now Black has finished the whole development. So in the game, queen side castling played by uh, Ruby Chess. You see now it becomes really an unbalanced really tactical game already although first both engines um, try to improve the minor piece activity first they of course try to um, get the pieces on the best course but now when uh, both engines have finished the development you can expect that this game is going to uh, collide immediately here in the center of the board but also on the queen side but also here on the king side so that's why stockfish breaks immediately the space advantage that um, uh, here uh, ruby chess has of course with the move d5 here so stockfish is now trying to break the only advantage that white is now in the position we have now the move g4 ruby chess is attacking immediately the position we have c takes d5 and now e takes d5 if you play c takes d5 then the c file is immediately open but even after e takes d5 look at this with rook from f to c8 that the uh, stockfish played uh, still there are some tensions of course on the c file so uh, maybe there is now a pawn that's holding the position on the c file but still uh, black has, I think, decent chances to attack here, uh, this side of the board. So, in the game king to b1, uh, ruby chess gets at least one of these uh, um, important pieces out of the range of the rook. We have rook from a to b8, so Stockfish is regrouping, is trying again to open some spaces, maybe on the b file, but now, obviously, Stockfish is preparing a monstrous, monstrous attack here on the queen side. So, f3, play by, play by ruby chess, and now comes, I think, a beautiful move that simply opens the position in a in a most beautiful way i think many of us would miss this move but uh, maybe you can pause the video and try to see now progressive idea here for for black and it's not that this move is winning here for black immunity but let's just um, practice a little bit strategy and tactics here what would you do in this position what would uh, be your continuation here because in my opinion it was a very important move that caused immediately attacking opportunities here for black so very very important move here by stockfish okay here the fish played the beautiful e4 temporarily maybe even sacrificing a pawn but this uh, pawn move is opening of course the long diagonal for the dark square bishop and now when the b file gets open with the support of the rook the huge huge threat is somewhere around the square b2 so that's why rook from uh, h to e1 uh, played by uh, ruby chess trying to endanger the queen at least somehow uh, here in the e file because if you play here knight to e4 then of course knight to e4 you can play maybe knight to e4 but look at this, what happens bishop to a4 is even winning the game immediately queen to c1 now we can pick up this one f takes e4 we can even play b5 we don't have to even pick up the rook immediately uh, we should not mm, play the game like this now the main issue the main idea is as i said to open the b file uh, because the b2 now is obviously a tactical problem in white's camp so that's why e4 beautiful move but the ruby chess counterplays this idea with the move rook to e1 now the queen is also endangered uh, here in the e file stockfish plays e takes f3 bishop to f3 and now rook to e8 by stockfish stockfish changes this is now the direction of the attack because the e file is not opened and now ruby chess makes maybe even the main mistake now in the game uh here ruby chess played the unnecessary rook to e2 and this was the crucial crucial mistake a better idea is here to play bishop to f4 then of course black needs to drop back here to f8 and the the game continues probably uh i would even say that maybe slightly better uh black is here because of because of the opportunity to open the b file here i think um this bishop is too too dangerous i think against the pawn on b2 but this was at least the way to go here to protect the position somehow but after move rook to e2 now comes the stunner here by stockfish stockfish plays the impossible queen to e3 and this was the way to go beautiful beautiful tactical shot it's of course a decent compensation you get the minor piece and the rook for the queen and also you gain activity this is now also the third element we should not always just evaluate when we sacrifice something uh, by the material that we gain and then we start to count okay the rook is five uh, worth five points and uh, the bishop is worth three points no that's not how we calculate in, in chess in calculates it a different math of course uh, because 
because after rook to e3 we have now the active rook we have the active bishop we have the possibility to break the b file uh, we have opportunities to play knight to h7 opening the long diagonal so many melding elements i think black is here although uh black gave the queen for two pieces so in the game rook to uh, king to a2 pardon me the king gets all of the mess on the b file we have knight to h7 this is now the way they go look at this now we have a new target around the square c3 and also around the square b2 so that's why knight to b5 the only defensive move here by ruby chess locking now the b file not allowing here to make progress uh, on the b file but now a beautiful move again by the fish knight to g5 attacking now the bishop on f3 twice rook to f1 and now another beautiful move by stockfish look at this the pawn on d6 is hanging but stockfish plays a beautiful rook to e8 ignores uh, simply the threat around the square d6 if you play bishop to d1 if you get out of the range now of um, of this rook then the problem is rook to h3 and then rook to e3 will follow maybe in some tactics around the square a3 in the later state of the game could uh, cause uh, many many damage in 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 white camp but in the continuation after move rook to e8 the ruby chess played now the move knight to d6 but notice now the knight is not anymore on b5 stockfish uses now this moment and play now the beautiful bishop to a4 and the queen has to drop back if you play now b3 this wouldn't be good then look at this this is the winning move uh, knight to f3 if you play rook to f3 then look at this rook to uh, e1 would happen and there is now even a checkmate threat on on um, on a1 if you play here knight to f3 uh, then we simply play bishop to b3 and uh, the game is over you lose the size of material so yeah, for bishop to a4 you need now to drop back with the queen the queen comes here to b1 but now rook to d8 the knight gets attacked we have here now knight to f7 here ruby chess has to now uh, sacrifice uh, the knight for a pawn if you play knight to b5 again then it's not so good because after knight to f3 uh, knight to f3 look at this bishop to b3 king to a1 and now bishop to c4 is simply winning the game so many pieces are lined up against uh, here on, uh, against the bishop on light score so it's game over so you see this was a tricky choice let's go really back let's see the sequence again stockfish allows here uh, this pawn to be taken plays now dangerous move the queen drops back you had attacked the knight and now the knight cannot get that get back on b5 anymore because of some problems around the score c4 that's why ruby chess had to play knight to f7 we have knight takes f7 bishop to uh, d1 rook to d3 attacking now also uh here the knight on um uh, the knight on d2 in the game we have queen to c1 bishop to d1 queen takes d1 and now uh, both of these knights are uh, playing this beautiful blocking system uh, here on dashboards in the center of the board this is a weakness this is a weakness this is a weakness many many opportunities i think we can calculate here but only for black here you cannot just attack with the queen and the rook here on the f file it's simply not enough from this point on of course the game is a one-way ticket simply in black's favor so in the game queen to c2 uh, rook to e8 rook to f3 rook to d4 stockfish stays with the pieces on the board stockfish of course doesn't want to trade off the pieces doesn't want to simplify the game uh, when you're uh, up in activity and up in material after knight to b1 we have knight to e4 rook to e3 rook to c4 attacking the queen the queen drops back here to g2 b5 connecting everything now even b4 is an opportunity we have here um rook to e2 king to h7 knight to d2 and f remove a knight to d2 in this position uh ruby chess resigns so what's the issue if you play of course rook to d2 then we play simply b4 we will eventually open a position there's nothing that can be done as we said you cannot just include the queen and the rook somehow into the attack this b file attack bothers me i think here in white camp even in some lights a4 b3 is happening maybe you can even get the back rank checkmate so but as i said it was simply a uh, time to resign here for the ruby chess engine so incredible incredible game i really loved here the queen sacrifice i really loved the fact that we have seen the king's indian offense with the black pieces and it was a winning game uh for black so incredible incredible game uh here by the fish i think it's quite an instructive game because it shows really the dynamics of this beautiful beautiful chess opening so okay if you want to see more epic and the beautiful attacking games like this check out our comment to chess games played by computer series with some more games played by stockfish alpha zero lila zero and many many more and if you like this content don't forget to subscribe to my channel see you soon with some more videos and what to say
chess is the best, of course.